the Red River Watercolors, no, the Red Wing Water um, Arts uh, Organization in Red Wing, Minnesota. Uh, we were doing a, a, I was doing a demo for their plein air event and we uh, got partway through it and uh, our time was up. There was a short demonstration during the course of their event and I wanted to continue it. So I'm going to work on it and uh, let you uh, peek in on this for a little bit. Um, let's see. We need to um, find my uh, starting point here. And I think what I'll do is I'll turn the... Um, I'll show you the, the image. We have a an image up there in the corner, which is what I'm taking it from. This is the um, headwaters of the Mississippi in Itasca State Park. I've changed some of the format of the foreground a bit to bring it a little closer in. And so that's uh, that's basically what I'm going to try to work on. There's a painting I did previously of it. Um, so the um, I'm working on the rocks in the foreground right now. I think I will um, continue in that process. I'm looking for a way to bring your eye in. I've got a, a sort of an S shape going into this here, so I need to bring some strength into this area of the rocks in the foreground. Uh, you probably can't see all of the palette, <clears throat> but you can see part of it. This is a ultramarine blue and some burnt sienna for the most part makes some nice browns and grays and I'm going to um, create some shapes into this foreground here where these rocks uh, where these <coughs> rocks are catching the sunlight from the right side and casting some shadow off like so and um, all of this um, is to try to get the uh, the rocks to to tell you the the shadows and the patterns on the rocks to tell the viewer and that'd be you uh, what direction the light is coming from. Um, so I'm going to drop in some shadow and some forms here, and I'm trying to get again to get your eye to flow up that direction up toward there and then back around. Uh, got a few things to do yet to work that out. Uh, so let's uh, continue. By the way, uh, this is um, now the um, 25th of June. On the 27th of June, next Saturday, I will have a um, online <coughs> workshop, a mini workshop, I call them, which will uh, run uh, from noon central time on uh, for about three hours and it's uh, I'll be doing some uh, not this kind of rocks I'll be doing a cliff a Rocky Mountain uh, large cliff with some shadows and it'll be a lot of fun <clears throat> I hope you can join uh, and go to my website michaelholter.com and, and check out the um, uh, check out the um, the link there and you'll see it'll be a, a Zoom webinar, and it will um, uh, it will be fun. That's for sure. We have a lot of fun. You can paint along, or you can watch it, uh, and then watch it later in, in, a, in a rerun. I'll let you have some access to it uh, for a period of time. And uh, we uh, we we do have some good a good time with it. Now these rocks back in over here, I need to be a little careful because I don't want to be too dark. I want to try to um, simplify and um, and then um, make them a little less important than the ones in the foreground. I think I'll pull that gray right over that part right there to dull that down. That was still white, some white, almost white of the paper. I did put some tone on there to begin with. Um, I have some rocks in the foreground on the right side I need to deal with, but I want to again. I want to bring the attention into this area up in here and then around. So I think I'll leave the rocks over here for now. I think I'll move back into this area of the um, of this um, water 
This is water pooling up down here, water running off. This is the, where the, the first water runs out of Lake Itasca and into the Mississippi River. It's the very beginning of the Mississippi. It's a, um, a very um, interesting spot. You can walk across it. Um, it's you know inches deep in some spots depending on the time of the year. But it's really quite, uh, quite remarkable to be there with such little water flowing and then you get down to the to New Orleans and it's a, a massive, massive amount of, of water flowing. So I'm going to make a, a little reflected area off of that rock, I think. And, um, and I need to soften some of that edge just to kind of create a little bit of a feel of the reflecting rock into the water and then bring some of this over. This color is a little bit too a little too green maybe I need to cool it down a little bit. Um, green is pretty cool but um, I mean by that I guess some blue <coughs> some blue to kind of reflect some sky. I could put some cerulean in there. That That's my sky color in this case. Um, kind of like that. Now that brings your eye there. Now I gotta, I've got to push uh, something back in there a little bit with them. Um, and that should probably be a little more on the blue side. I think I need to define some areas here. Leave some rocks but um, push push some of that deeper right in there. And by, by deeper, it, it doesn't have to be so much darker because blue is cooler. It'll push your eye, it'll take your eye more into the distance. Um, there's quite a bit of light in that area right there. Uh, quite a bit, quite a few lights that I have not covered yet. Uh, maybe I'll cover up these right here. So this is uh, just a segment of a painting, and I hope you enjoyed just watching this portion. I'm not going to let it run any longer on the, on the streaming, but I um, just wanted to let you know about my workshops. And, uh, uh, you know, if you want to, Come, um, you know, come and um, and uh, you know, enjoy a, a workshop. Um, I'd love for you to do it. Uh, check out my website. Thanks.